Guitarist Rich Williams of Kansas, one of the two original members left in the band, he and drummer Phil Ehart. Rich talks about the fact that their longtime vocalist, Steve Walsh, she's no longer with the band, wanted to be Paul Rogers of Bad Company. Why did he leave the first time? Well, um, Dave and Terry left the first time because they wanted to, you know, they wanted to be a, a Christian band and we didn't want to be one. And they thought they were going to be the Christian Beatles and save the world, which is a common notion of a fresh born again Christian. You know, it's now it's my job. More power to you. Um, Steve. Steve's best was singing Terry Ligman songs, you know, with the, the meaning and, and it, it really kept, but Steve really wanted to be Paul Rogers. That was his hero. He wanted to sing rock songs he wanted to be in a you know in that type of band that's where what he really enjoyed doing and he never i don't think ever really came to grips at that time of the collaboration of carrie's songs and his voice was a perfect thing carrie's never done that since steve's never done that since you put them together and that's where the magic happened. It's like Elton John, Bernie Top, and no one knows why it just works. Exactly. Crosby, Stills, and Ash Young. You know, all of a sudden, the three, the blend of those three voices, and all of a sudden, you had something that wasn't there with any of the two together, but with those three, kaboom, magic. And that happens sometimes. And in those rare moments, hold on to it as long as you can. Do you still have some of your guitars from the seventies? Oh yeah, I've still, I've still got my Red Marshall head that I played the first several albums and toured with. Um, it's set up in the. I've got a this wooden oak rack that I had built that holds nine guitar heads, and that one sits top in the middle. That's the most premiered one on there. I still have my Gibson L6S that I played all those early days too but then i still then part two of the career i've still got my all my dean cadillacs that i played mm -mm. um i have a copy of my original martin that i play now but th that martin is in the rock and roll hall of fame um i'll never be there but my guitar is <laughs> to laurie cantois ask about phil's drum tech john thompson some of his old friends from the 70s are trying to locate him do you know whatever happened to him John is still around, I will say. And if they'd want to know more about him, all I would say is John is having, he's struggling. Um, and we've been helping him out. And maybe, you know, contact us, you know, through the web website, talk, talk to, like, to J.R. Reese, who handles our webpage. And he might, uh, J, uh, John Thompson does not, has never owned a computer, doesn't like computers. Um, but we know how to get in touch with him. And I'm sure he would be touched to know that people would like to get a hold of him. And so that would be the best thing. Look for, you know, kansasband.com or look for us on Facebook. And again, J.R. Reese, R-E-E-S. And uh, he will be able to get them perhaps in contact with John. And that would be a great thing. This might but be I, a, I don't, I can't, don't want to go into the details. We'll have more from Rich Williams coming up in the next few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Remember you can help our channel. There are links in the description, join our Patreon, check out our podcast. There's all the information in the description. And of course, all the latest from Kansas right there for you as well. This is Rocky Street Music. Take care of yourself.